Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, I'm Suhanna. I make videos and I post a new video every weekend. Alright, you guys can see from the title, I'm reviewing the Way Wave Spray and I initially was not gonna do a full video dedicated to this and I asked you guys on Instagram if I should try this or the Living Proof in Shower Styler and everybody pretty much voted for this. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know my thoughts and you already saw how I feel about it. Just gonna say, I don't have it in my hair right now. I'm just using mousse and gel in my hair. I am not feeling this. We're gonna go over everything and then I'll tell you why I don't like it. It's described on the Sephora website as a weightless texture mist for effortlessly chic undone hair. So because the weather is getting cooler, my hair gets really stretched out, really elongated, and I already know my hair is going to be looser, so instead of me forcing my hair to have more definition, I'm like, you know what, let me stop working against my hair and work with it, and try to use products that will just promote a soft, stretched out, beachy wave, which I assumed this would do, because that's what it claims. It also says that this is for straight, wavy, curly, and coiled hair. As far as the key benefits go, they're listed as creates beachy waves, adds volume and healthy shine, and then provides effortlessly chic style. I don't really know why they would have that in the actual product description as well as the key benefits, but whatever, apparently looking chic is a benefit to anybody who uses this spray. There is a little how to use section, but they also included Jen style tip. So Jen Atkins, her style tip is uh, spritz it on damp or dry hair to activate natural waves, enhance texture, boost body, and give hair memory. I'm not gonna go too in depth on the ingredients list. I will put it up on the screen. You guys can see it is a very, very long, hefty ingredients list. And that was one of the things that kind of put me off of wanting to use it to begin with. It's obviously not curly girl friendly. It does include a silicone. It has some, I think there's some alcohols in here. There's just like a lot of stuff in here. And I don't mind an ingredients list that's longer, but to me, I feel like this is a little bit excessive for something that's just a spray. They did make a note to highlight the specialty rice protein that's used in it, even though it's not one of the first five ingredients on the list, but it does say it protects hair fibers from the inside against oxidative damage due to solar radiation, so sun protection, protects hair keratin from degradation. Now this list is so long I'm not about to go through every single ingredient to see where the specialty rice protein is on the list, but I can tell you it is not near the top, which means it's not a very significant ingredient in the actual formulation. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you already know my thoughts on this, but I don't usually say I hate products, but I hate this. It sucks. It is not a good product. I don't know why it has so many good reviews. I want to give Way and Jen Atkin the benefit of the doubt and assume that this was made more for people who have straight hair that want to add some grit and add some texture and add a wave to it. But the video reviews I've seen of this and video tutorials I've seen using this generally involve using a curling wand to create soft waves on naturally straight hair or straightened hair and then using this as like a hairspray. Using this when you have naturally wavy hair is not necessary. I mentioned this on Instagram, I feel like my hair dries better without any stylers than I did with this. I will include my Instagram story so you guys can see what my hair looked like because obviously I did not want to put my hair through this again, but it's just not a good product like at all. I'd give you guys some pros, but I don't have any unless you, again, have straight hair or you've straightened your hair and then you're going to use a curling wand. You can use this as a hairspray, but then if you're just gonna use this as a hairspray, just use hairspray. First con is the price. I know it is in the same price range as Living Proof, as Diva Curl, as Bumble and Bumble as 
Briogeo or Briogeo. I think I've been saying it a little bit too bougie. I think it's Briogeo because I heard India Batson pronounce it like that. Anyways, I know they're all in the same price range. However, based on the product's performance, I don't think it's worth $16 for the mini spray, $34 for the full size spray. Like, if you're just going to use it as hairspray especially, I would not be spending $16 on a mini hairspray. Con number two would be the strong fragrance. This again may just be a me thing. I personally am not the biggest fan of very heavily perfumed and fragranted products. A little bit of fragrance here and there I don't mind, but this literally just smells like perfume and not even a nice perfume to me. I feel like it smells like a cheap perfume. I don't like the smell at all. Con number three, it says it will not make your hair crunchy, but it totally does. I apply this to my hair when it was wet. I squeezed out all the excess water. I didn't put any leave-in conditioner. I just sprayed, 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 sprayed. I tried to gently finger comb it through and then do a little bit of praying hands just so it doesn't get too stringy. It still ended up getting stringy and my hair still ended up feeling crunchy even after it was fully, fully dried because I just let it air dry. I tried to scrunch out the crunch and it didn't work. I could just feel a layer of residue and even when I had one of my friends at work feel my hair because it felt so gross, she touched it and she had like residue left over on her fingers. Con number four, it makes your hair dull rather than shiny, which I don't know why I didn't think that it was going to do that. Maybe because one, it claims to make your hair shiny and two, it's not an actual salt spray, it's just a wave spray. If it was a sea salt spray, I wouldn't be too surprised with my hair looking dull because sea salt sprays tend to mattify the hair. This claims to make your hair shiny and it did not make my hair shinier, it actually made it duller. I also found that my inner layer was getting tangled significantly faster than it does normally. I mean, my inner layer in general gets tangled faster than the rest of my hair because I feel like my finer texture is in here, but then I also have straight pieces in here, so they tend to get tangled and knotted faster than like the top layers that just stretch out. But a couple hours into having the way wave spray in my hair, my inner layer was already very, very, very tangled. I was like, what is going on? This, this spray, final thoughts on this spray, bye, bye, bye. I am gonna use it, I'm gonna finish it up. I don't like to waste products. Um, I don't know when I'll use it, but if I do use it, it will probably be as a hairspray. However, once it's done, I am not going to be purchasing it. I don't plan on purchasing it. If I did spend my money on that, I would have returned it. Way, Jen Atkins, sorry, sorry I just trashed this wave spray is a very popular product, but honestly, if you have wavy hair, don't bother with the wave spray. Your hair is already wavy. Just wear your waves like you could wear naked waves at that point because your hair is going to feel a lot better naked than it would with that spray on it. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did and if you like product reviews, you want to see more product reviews on my channel, make sure you give this a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. I'm trying to hit 10k before the end of the year, so if we can do that, that'd be really dope. And then I can do a giveaway that will not include the Way Wave Spray. <laughs> and if you guys want to keep up with me, uh, just over Instagram stories, all the kind of stuff. You can follow me over there, but that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.